Hi, I'm Brock Hanna, a senior at Emory-Henry College. Multiple research studies have been conducted on ACL injuries in female athletes, looking everywhere from their menstrual cycle, jumping and landing mechanics, to quadriceps dominance in those athletes. Looking at these things, I wanted to research if muscular development through playing certain sports puts a female athlete at a greater risk for receiving an ACL injury. To test this theory, I looked at five athletes from three different teams. One athlete from each team had also previously received an ACL injury. The teams I looked at were basketball, soccer, and volleyball. I measured the Q angle for each athlete. I then conducted a best balance assessment test and measured strength through a one rep max of both double leg quadriceps extension and double leg seated hamstring curl. I also had the participants complete a vertical jump test to study how the athlete lands conducting sports specific movements. My research showed a positive correlation between strength and balances and landing mechanics. More specifically, those female athletes that did not have quadriceps dominance had neutral landing mechanics compared to those that had quadriceps dominance, which showed a valgus load on the knee upon landing, which predisposes the athlete to a possible ACL injury. Musculature imbalances were also found in all sports tested, but volleyball had the least amount of musculature imbalance, with only one out of five participants showing an imbalance, compared to four out of the five for both women's soccer and women's basketball. All participants who had previously received an ACL injury also showed musculature imbalances. In conclusion, I believe athletes' muscles are developed differently through the sports that they play and can predispose them to future ACL 